one of the issues that people have talked about is the desire and the right to live independently in community. What does that mean to you? For me, when I say independence, I'm able to decide what is the best life for myself and to not have anyone dispute that because of ableism or what they perceive me to be able to do. No, that's exactly right. I mean, that's what independent living is about, is giving people with disabilities the same level of control over their lives that everybody else enjoys. If you're locked away in a nursing home or you're locked away in an institution, you don't get the benefit from any of that. You've been incarcerated for no crime other than the fact you had a disability. So we still have a real fundamental problem in this country where we are taking away people's right to even exist in the community and locking them away. How would you like to see this, the larger movement shape up um, by Lisa? What, what would you, what's your vision of five years from now, 10 years from now? I think it's time to allow the younger people, um, not just millennials, but also Generation Z, which is on our heels, to really help shape the tide. I think that the younger leaders that are, that are starting to take control, uh, they make me feel better about the movement being carried on. I mean, I, I think I was concerned about that for a number of years, and the young leaders that are coming up are really uh, smart, very organized folks who, who have a vision for the future.